Hallelujah, hallelujah, wherever you are, I invite you, or I welcome you to the sermon of today. My name is Pastor John Gaho of Blessings Revival Center, Kigumo, in the county of Kiambu. And today, I've said I've come before I go to church so that we can be able to share uh, the word of God. And before we share the word of God, let us pray so that we can start the sermon of today. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, I come before you. I thank you, Father, because of the person who is viewing this program, O oh God. Whatever this person is, O oh Jesus, I call for your blessings, O oh Almighty God. Thank you, Father, because of this week that you've been together with us, O oh Jesus. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your care, O oh Redeemer. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Father Lord, I thank you even because of this person who is viewing me, O oh Jesus, what you have done to him or her during the week, oh Jesus. I know the Lord, Father, this person has seen your protection, has seen your care, has seen your mercy, has seen your favor, oh God. We give you all the glory and we give you all the honor. At this time, oh Jesus, we have come before you, oh Jesus, asking for your grace, asking for your mercy, asking for your intervention. As we go to listen to your sermon or to your word, oh God, may you, Father, be with us, may you, Father, help us, may you, Father, bless us, oh God. In the name of your son jesus christ thank you father because you're going to be with us oh jesus as we kick off as i as we finish the sermon of today in the name of your son jesus christ we do pray trusting and believing amen 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 god bless you wherever you are today i am saying that i'm going to use english as a language on sunday i used kikuyu so that uh, other people can be able to understand what we are saying the word of today is your faith will make you be healed out of the sicknesses that you have in swahili tunasema kwamba Imani yako itakufanya uponywe magonjwa yote yale ambayo unaweza kuwa nayo. Iwe ni magonjwa ya umaskini or any other type of sickness that you might be having. And the word of today is going to come from the book of Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5 verse 17. Luke chapter 5 verse 17. Thank you very much the person who have joined us from uh online I, I can see other people joining us keep sharing that sermon so that we can be able to bless so many people remember i've said i'll come and give you the sermon before i go to church uh, and i know that god is going to bless you god is going to uplift you luke chapter 5 verse 17 luke chapter 5 verse 17 let me read one day jesus was teaching the people one day jesus was teaching the people the pharisees and the teachers of the law were sitting there too sikumoja or one day jesus was teaching people and these people inside them we had pharisees and also teachers of the law who were sitting together with him they had come from every town in Galilee and judea and from jerusalem all those people who were sitting down together with jesus as he was teaching the Bible is saying that there were so many other had come from Jerusalem, other had come from Galilee, other had come from Judea. Let me continue reading. The Lord was giving Jesus the power to heal people. At this time that these people were gathering, Lord, or our Father in heaven, was continuing giving Jesus the power to heal people. That is what the Bible is saying. There was a man who was paralyzed. Uh -huh. And some other men were carrying him on a mat. When Jesus, or as Jesus was sitting down with these people, remember the Bible have said that Jesus was sitting down with so many people. Other people had come from Galilee, other people had come from Judea, other people had come from Jerusalem. The Bible is saying that God in heaven was giving Jesus, at this time that they were sitting down, the power to heal people or to heal sicknesses. And at the same time, there was a man who was paralyzed and he was being sat on the mat, on a mat. And this man was outside the house, uh, outside the house where Jesus was inside. But there were so many people that they could not find a way to Jesus. The Bible is saying, even if this crippled man was sick, even if he was laid on a mat, there was no way for him to get into the place or into the house where Jesus was sitting down. Reason being, there were so many people from Galilee, there were so many people from Judea, there were so many people from Jerusalem who had come to witness, others had come to be healed by Jesus. 
The Bible is saying that even if this person was sick, he couldn't have gotten away to get inside and be healed by Jesus Christ. Let's continue reading the word of God. But there were so many people that they could not find a way to Jesus. So they went up on the roof and lowered the crippled man through a hole in the ceiling. When these people saw that they could not find a way to reach Jesus, they thought that the only good solution is to get on the roof, and they went on the roof carrying this crippled man, and they lowered him through a hole which was in the, in the roof, and they reached Jesus. Let me continue reading. They lowered the mat into the room so that the crippled man was lying before Jesus. The Bible is saying that when they lowered this person who was lying on the mat, they made sure that the point where they were lowering him down to into the house it was a place where he will be in front of jesus and that is what happened jesus was just getting power to heal people at the same time i can see a person who is crippled i can see his colleagues or his family members who are carrying him on a mat i can see him searching away into this house i can see them searching away into this house but there is no way because so many people have gathered have gathered here and they are also willing to get some help from jesus christ and when they got no solution they found that the only solution they have is to climb onto the roof and lower this sick person using the roof on a mat and that is what exactly they did immediately they lowered this person jesus saw that there is a sick person before him let me read for you Jesus saw how much faith they had and said to the sick man, Fred, your sins are forgiven. Immediately, this person was lowered before Jesus using our through the roof. Jesus saw him. And remember, God was giving Jesus power to heal sicknesses. As the Bible was saying up there. Remember, we are reading Luke chapter 5 from verse 17 to verse 20. Immediately Jesus saw this person, he looked at his family members and he told them, This person's sins have been forgiven. It looks like the reason as to why this person was crippled is because of a certain sin that was committed in the family. And it looks like there was a curse which was following the family and making the members of this family to become crippled. And Jesus immediately told this crippled man that your sins are forgiven. That means that the power Jesus was given by our Father in heaven made this crippled person to receive healing. And the Bible is saying that Jesus said, through your faith, your sins have been forgiven. Through your faith, your sins have been forgiven. That is what Jesus told this person. Through the faith of this person, through the faith of his family members, the sins of this person were forgiven. And when the sins of this person were forgiven, immediately he received healing and his crippledness came to an end immediately. My friend and the friend of Jesus Christ, today before I go to church, I want to tell you on this online church that if you have faith in God, if you have faith in God, it doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter the problem that you're going through. I want you to look at this crippled person, how many years he has stayed with his crippledness. And immediately his family members together this person, immediately they had this amount of faith and they went and searched for Jesus. This person's sins were forgiven and immediately he received healing. Immediately he received healing. I tell you my brothers and sisters wherever you are, if you have faith in God, if you have faith in Jesus Christ, doesn't matter what you're passing through, doesn't matter the problems that you have, doesn't matter what people said about you, but immediately you have faith in God, immediately you have faith in Jesus Christ, Everything that you need in life is going to happen. Doesn't matter Kenya or what we are going through, but immediately we put our faith in Jesus Christ. All the healing that we need is going to come through Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what your family members are saying, but immediately you have faith in Jesus Christ. All the solutions you need in your life are going to come. Doesn't matter where you are. Maybe you are looking at the place that you are. Maybe you are far. Maybe you are abroad. And you are asking yourself, how shall I come out of this? But I tell you today, if you have faith in Jesus Christ, 
All the solutions that you need in your life, you're going to receive them in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. I tell you, my brother and my sister, there is nothing good like having faith in Jesus Christ because he's the solution and he's the only solution. Right now, so many people are suffering. Others are suffering from cancer. Others are suffering from HIV. Others are suffering from diabetes. Others are suffering from very serious flus and other kinds of illnesses. You have tried taking medicines, but the medicines are not giving you healing. I tell you, if you have faith in Jesus Christ, all the healing that you want is going to be received by you in the name of Jesus. Your faith in Jesus matters a lot. Wherever you are this morning, I want you to put all your faith in Jesus Christ. And if you put your faith in Jesus Christ, you're going to receive your solution right now in the name of Jesus. I want to pray with you and I want to tell you that whatever you need, be it that people are fighting you, be it people are talking ill about you. If you want to shut their mouth, you only need to have faith in Jesus and tell Jesus, I want you to give me a solution on this problem. I want you to remove from me this trouble. And Jesus, through his masses, if he looks at your faith and sees that your faith is up to that amount, he is going to do greater things unto you. In the name of Jesus, praise be to God. Whatever you are, be it that you're in Kenya, be it that you're in Tanzania, be it that you're in Uganda, South Sudan, others are in South Africa, others are in Saudi Arabia, others are in America. All those who are watching this program, I tell you, your faith in God is going to make things turn around. Your faith in Jesus is going to give you healing of all forms. Maybe you've been doing farming. Maybe you've been doing business, but everything that you try doing is not giving you any profit. I tell you today that your faith in Jesus is going to turn things and you're going to start receiving profit in Jesus' name. I want to pray with you and I want you to believe with me. And I want you to have faith in Jesus that whatever you need in life, you're going to receive it. Now, in Jesus' name, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. We thank you this morning. Thank you, Father, because of your word, O oh God. You've told us about that crippled man who has stayed for so many years with his crippledness, O oh Jesus. But, Father, you've said that through his faith and through the faith of his family members, Lord Jesus, you gave him healing immediately. Father, I come before you this morning and I want to bring the troubles of this viewer before you, O oh God. I am calling for the healing from you, O oh Jesus, in all the troubles that he has or she has. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, because of those who are sick. Father, Lord, I know the Lord Jesus, you're going to give them healing immediately. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, because of those who are operating businesses, O oh God. Father, Lord, I know the Lord Jesus, you're going to make those businesses start having profit immediately. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, because of those who are employed, O oh Jesus. Father, Lord, through the, their faith in you, you're going to make them enjoy the works of their labor in Jesus' mighty name. You're going to make them have favor from their employers in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, even because of that person who doesn't know what to do next, O oh Jesus. Thank you, Father, because of his faith or her faith, O oh God, you're going to give them a solution of what to do next in Jesus' mighty name. Father, Lord, I'm praying for this person, for, the coming, for this coming week, O oh Jesus, I pray favor over this person. I pray mercy over this person in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, because you've heard our prayer. Thank you, Father, because you've blessed us. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we do pray, trusting, and believing. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you wherever you are. God do you wonders. May God be with you. And I continue telling you, have faith in Jesus Christ. And your faith in Jesus Christ is going to do miracles in your, in your life. Your faith in Jesus Christ is going to do miracles in your business. Your faith in Jesus Christ is going to do miracles in your health. Your faith in Jesus Christ will do greater things and you become a victor. You become a successful person. God bless you. If you want to reach me for prayers, for counseling, or for maybe you want to give a love offering, you can call me on 715 Six one nine seven double zero or plus two five four seven one five six one nine 
700. God bless you. God do wonders. Shalom, shalom, shalom.